Okay. Let's go on with Mr. Frank Thorsten Spittler, the Amavubi head coach. <laughs> it's who we are with now. Yeah, they are off. Okay, coach, uh, first of all, congratulations for this victory. Uh, it's been years and years without imposing such a result. Uh, tell us uh, about uh, what was your approach, the approach of the game, uh, technically, tactically, and your reaction as well. Yeah, uh, good. First, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very proud of uh, the team and the staff because we had really two hard, difficult weeks now. And, uh, okay, the, the main approach was, uh, as I already said, the last match, we, we wanted to play football, not kick and rush. Uh, so somehow the weather... Uh, made us some problems because uh, we couldn't play football because the ground was totally wet and if you pass the ball on the ground the ball stuck. So uh, we had to play some long balls but uh, okay this was not, not, not just kick and rush it was movement before to create some space and get the ball in this space and run after the ball uh, so this worked very well. Um, I think we, were, we did a very good match in the first half, uh, the intention was, uh, as uh, I know we haven't played against South Africa before, and uh, they have seen the results uh, of the matches last week. This means we draw against Zimbabwe and uh, Zimbabwe draw against uh, Nigeria. So they didn't really know about us. Uh, how strong we are or how weak we are and uh, so the approach was like that to go out from the first second and give them no space to play tiki-taka and uh, so to surprise them uh, because okay we are under dog still and uh, I think this this worked very well okay it's always a little bit luck if you score with uh, our shoots but uh, I told the the players before <clears throat> don't waste chances make one touch and get the ball in the on the ground so the ball is getting very quick or very fast on in this the weather conditions or ground conditions and uh, okay i think we deserved to win the first half by 2-0 and okay surely uh, south africa is a strong team and that's uh, that's what they showed in the second half and okay we also got a little bit tired um, but uh, I think we defended well and they didn't really come through um, so we could even make one sure they could have made one too uh, in the second half but I think in, at the end it was a really deserved uh, win and it was also a good match it was a good match from us and that's the main point uh, if you play well Sooner or later also the results will come. I didn't expect that it will come so quick. We are happy about that. And uh, yeah, okay, thank you. Chris here. Thank you so much. Thank you, coach. Uh, congratulations again. Uh, it seems you, you have uh, a very good victory uh, and the, the best performance of Amavovi Stars. Now you're heading, uh, you're at the top. Of the uh, of the group, uh, it's it's like a surprise, but uh, it can go that way. So uh, the campaign will resume on the next uh, June of next year. Which recommendations will you give out to the Minister of Sports and uh, the Federation so that it can go on on being on the top of the uh, of the group? Okay, first I have to say that I really have to appreciate what uh, 
the Ministry of Sports and the Federation have done together uh, until now. There have been problems at the beginning, <coughs> but they were always eager to, uh, to solve these problems. And, uh, okay, at the end they also deserve uh, this result because of uh, their support of mine. Let's say it was a very difficult start and it became better and better and okay, today we had a deserve, but at the end, after two weeks, you still have to say it's a, it's a lucky win. Huh? Uh, I didn't expect that uh, all, all or a lot of things we have already done worked or came through after two weeks. Um, this is a surprise for me too because, as I said before, uh, development is a process. It doesn't work from one week to the next week. Uh, but okay, we take this result and we don't uh, say that now we are uh, ready for the World Cup uh, because we are at the top of the table. Uh, this is a nice situation for today, but it doesn't mean anything uh, for the next time. Now we, I will try to use the time as good as possible to, to develop these players um, Mainly they are in the 